All right, y'all. We got more gaslighting. Y'all ready to talk about it? Let's juice. Come on, Blazer. It's a beat for me. What's up guys, it's your girl Voodoo Doll TV back with a quick little juice or whatever and I just happened to run across this gaslighting and I just wanted to bring this to the forefront. First of all, let me preface this video by saying this is not all LGBTQ plus people. I believe in the words of Flame Monroe and all the older uh, trans women that this is kind of a younger generation thing. You, you know how the, 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 the youth in our communities are like going crazy. I'm starting to see that this is a generational thing. Like it's a lot of people in the younger generation that are creating things as they go along. And they're also basically trying to insult us women uh, as they go along as well women females whatever it is you want to call it but ultimately i ran across this video and i saw all the gaslighting that was happening and it made me laugh because it's so funny that um a group of people who are mimicking the identity of another certain group of people are now telling that group of people that they are jealous of the people who are trying to imitate them. If that makes sense, you know what I mean? And again, this ain't no bashing, this ain't no dig toward nobody. It's just the fact of, I, I recognize gaslighting whenever I see it and it's giving male identity. It's really what it is, especially black male identity. You know, it's almost like cheating. You ever caught your man cheating? or whatever and then when you ask him about it he ends up turning it on you well you don't be cooking or you don't be doing you know what I mean just to deflect off of what he actually did that's kind of what this video gave me and it was so crazy because I was like anybody t that gets upset about this has issues like don't even at this point black women don't even get upset when you see videos like this because you're just gonna waste your time and just you you know feed the fuel to them that they need you know and it's it's just not even worth it but like i said it ain't the whole community because i've spoken and i've even uh seen some other people in the community who thinks completely differently and no one is a mo monolith no group of people are monoliths i get that but i do feel like it is very important that uh that group of people just basically reach out to this group of people and say hey look you tripping it's no difference from my series holding black women accountable that are on big stages i got videos about suki hana and how she's defaming the black woman's image all across america and abroad i did videos about glorilla i did videos about all these new age rap girls who out there just being degenerate acting a fool going all overseas getting arrested i've addressed all of that because i feel like in my community that's what I'm supposed to do because I don't want that to be our image. I don't want that to be us. So shout out to Flame Monroe for actually doing that. And then getting backlash from the community as if Flame's doing something wrong. That's insanity. But anyway, child. So I saw this video. And this girl, what is her name? I can't remember her name. Oh, I can't remember her name. Girl, I don't even care. But anyway, sh this person did a video on Beagle Live. I've never really got into that app. And basically, she's giving it, you know, to the, the, the women, the females. Basically saying that we jealous because uh, they look better than us. And uh, we don't want them. Well, they men want them. Girl, I'm going to let her tell it to you. And then I'm going to come back with some commentary. Because this is the type of stuff I want biological women to pay attention to. Because it's a lot of gaslighting. It's a lot of, you know, basically finger pointing at you as if you're the issue. While even admitting that black men, such as they, are the issue. It's weird. Let me let y'all hear it. And I'm going to come back with a little more commentary. Let's hear it. Shay, I'm, I'm gonna just keep it a bug. A lot of cisgender women are just unhappy. A lot of, no, let's use the term that they love. A lot of real women are really unhappy. A lot of real women are really unhappy. A lot of real women are really insecure. And a lot of real women are really bothered that trans women really look better than they really do. Since they really want this real word, bitch, you can have it. Girl, you can have it. Girl, it's not my fault that you mistaken my happiness and my femininity as a challenge. Sweetie, when I was identifying how feminine I was and how far I wanted to go and how I wanted my inside to match my outside, I had nothing to do with you. Pause. I just had to step in right quick. So this person just said, we are unhappy. Keep in mind, they are imitating us and emulating us. 
but we are unhappy, right? This is where the gaslighting comes from. And when they decided that they wanted to change their body parts to make the outside match the inside, which the inside was the imitation of us, right? That they went to make that change and it had absolutely nothing to do with us. Let that sizzle in y'all spirit. That's what I be talking about with gaslighting. But I'm going to let her finish, y'all. Okay. Because it seems like y'all only have so much to say when it comes to competition. It really seems like y'all only have so much to say when it comes to tearing somebody else down. Girl, don't nobody want to be you. Girl, don't nobody want to be you. Let's be clear, Miss Thing. A lot of you don't want to be you. Bitch, I speak very frequently and openly about my penis, about the type of sex I have, about the type of men that I'm attracted to. Girl, don't nobody want to be you. Y'all are just mad that people are really out here moving and happy, and y'all are really mad that people are being mistaken for you and getting more respect than you do. That has nothing to do with us. That is not a reason why you should be disrespecting us and, and, and trying to make it a big thing. Girl, don't nobody want no period. Don't nobody want no kids, because a lot of you hoes don't want no kids. A lot of y'all only having these kids to keep a man around. A lot of y'all only have kids because you're trying to make your mom and daddy happy. A lot of y'all are married or, or not even married, but the ones that are getting married are married to a man that don't respect you, probably beat you, don't give you the compliment, don't treat you like the real woman that you are. So why are you really mad at us? Okay, really quickly. This person is just pointing out stuff that, you know, they feel that our community, which are the biological women, go through, right? My question would be to this person is, don't you guys claim that y'all go through the same? Don't men hide y'all in the closet and, you know what I'm saying? And and when you try to come out and say y'all together, you know, publicly, they unalive y'all. Don't they beat on y'all too? The only thing they don't do is put babies in you well because biology, yeah. You know what I mean? So I'm confused as to, you know what? Let me let her finish. Go ahead. You're not really mad at trans women for for considering ourselves women. You're mad because you don't really get respected as the woman that you really were born to be real in. Girl, stop taking all your frustrations and your disrespect down on other people. That has nothing to do with us. Anybody trying to take your place? Girl, the only reason why you feel some type of way is because we look like something. Girl, but at the end of the day, our, none of us are respected. So y'all saw that? This person basically said or spoke about how we're disrespected and we're so-called real women. You know what I mean? And, you know, we're not comfortable in our skin and we're not respected. And then turned around and said, they're not respected either. So then my question would be, then doesn't that make us in the same boat as it pertains to black men because these are the people we talking about black men wouldn't that make us in the same boat again it's just the fluctuation of the voice and the the hand gestures and all of these things you know what i mean that really is taking me because you're sitting there presenting as a biological woman with the hair, the nails, the hand gestures and all of that. Meanwhile, you're downing biological women by saying you don't want to be us as you go down and get boobs and hair and makeup and nails and flail your hands like, you know, black women do and all of that. But then in the message, as although I'm looking at what I'm seeing, which presents to be a woman, a black woman. You're going to sit up here and tell us that we're jealous of you, even though you're in the process or you're trying to every day, you know, wake up and imitate or emulate us. I guess, child. But let me let y'all finish. And I tell y'all all the time as a trans woman, if I would have known, oh, well, I would still I would still be a woman. But bitch, if I would have known the things that the change, the difference between being a man and a woman, girl, it sucks being a woman. Girl, do you think a person will really trans just transition to still live a sucky life? People don't respect women. And when you are sexy, bitch, they only look at you as a sex option, object, bitch, they f*** out ugly ass. Girl, bitch, you not mad at how men look at us because men f*** anything. Men are out here f***ing So, girl, let's stop making it about about what men like or what, what who trying to fool who. Girl, niggas don't give a f*** about the fool no body I'm sure some of y'all real women have seen men f real women and be like hell we feel the same way girl when I see men that talk to me and I see their baby mamas and their wives and stuff I be like oh like how you go from that to this like girl no you got some money 
The caliber of women that y'all are loser. And you bitches that never be shit because you don't care to be shit. You always worried about the wrong thing. You're so worried about what a man like before you don't care about what your children like. You worried about what a man will approve before you realize what your children approve. You so worried about pleasing a man before you worried about pleasing yourself. Girl, your battle is not with us. Sweetheart. The issue is not between us. Sweetheart. And then you have people in my comments like, oh, you need to, ch you need to change your voice. No, I don't. This is my voice. And this is how you should know I don't, ha I don't have to fool nobody. Bitch, I can go get my Adam's apple shade for $1,100. Bitch, it has never been a big thing of me because I am that comfortable with who I am. I don't need to go get a, a voice feminizer because, bitch, I'm comfortable in who I am. I, I never had a problem with my voice. I never had a problem with my Adam's apple. I never had a problem with my shoulders. Bitch, I had an issue with how I identified. And then when I identified how I choose to identify and how I felt, now you bitches is mad. When a person is in their truth, you all still mad. Some of these hoes will get their chopped off and their face pulled down just to be feminine and still unhappy. Still clockable. You're not going to ever be happy with society until you're happy with yourself. And once you're happy with yourself, you'll realize you'll never be happy with society because society ain't happy for you. Stupid. Asshole. And I don't give a f how trans women represent themselves. Them hoes can't represent me. Bitch, I was her before I even knew what a trans woman was. I was her before a transition ever happened. I was her as a little boy on the playground in elementary school. So now y'all just heard that uh, gaslighting delusion. Girl, look, let me just tell y'all something, black women. Like I was saying before, we need to focus on us. We need to focus on what we got going on because there's no way this person is going to sit here in front of me with the mannerisms of black women, with the nail, the nails of black women, I'm sorry, with the hair of black women, uh, with the body of, of a black woman, with uh, the language and lingo of a black woman and tell me that I'm the one with a problem with her. I'm the one who has a problem with this person that doesn't make sense that's not that's time foolery to me and what i will not do is be gaslit by nobody who's in search of being a woman that's just that let me i'm just saying this to black women out there it's gonna be a lot of things you're gonna see online that's gonna test your faith you know what i mean and it's gonna make you feel like you know why is this happening like why are these people making it seem like i have an issue when in fact it, it, these are this is the god honest truth women have never had a problem with gays or trans women we've never had one we've never seen to have one now your little individual one two three problems that maybe you done slept with somebody's husband and the wife found out or they girlfriend and the, the girlfriend found out and y'all have y'all little tit for tat yin 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 that's a personal thing but i'm talking about like as a collective black women ain't never had no problem with trans women our only issue has and always will be you're encroaching upon our space and then trying to come in and tell us how to be in our space when you don't even know how to be us that has always been the issue. I find it very disingenuous for people to make this type of argument looking and acting the way that this person is looking and acting. You can say that you're comfortable and you are her and all of that. You can keep all of that and keep saying all of that. I'm here for it. But ultimately, you and I both know the truth. When you lay pillow to, to, to uh, or head to pillow, I'm sorry, you and I both know what's going on. Again, this ain't a bashing session. I'm just trying to educate black women not to be fooled by the ignorance because it's a lot of ignorance out there. And I don't think that we should be held, you know, to the fire because you're not getting, you know, I guess the deal that you feel like you should have got. You know what I mean? You got to take that up with the most high. They ain't got nothing to do with us. That's just my opinion. All right, girl. So moving on. Now, look, I went after I was looking for this girl. I went and found this other person, right? Now, this person entered the chat with a few words. And, you know, one thing I've, I've noticed about the coincidence between these type of people. And again, it ain't the whole community. Let me preface that by saying this. It is not the whole community. But there are some few in this community that really got life and bullshit messed up. But look, this person decides to 
you know into the chat and have something to say now i don't know if this is an old video or a current one i really don't care but again it's more projection and it's more issues with themselves that they're projecting projecting i'm sorry onto us and i wanted y'all to hear this and um yeah just see the difference or not the differences but the coincidences in this person and the other person that we just listened to let's take a look trans girl walk in the room you know the heads turn because they got the body they doing it the first thing uh, you'll see a cisgender woman say is oh that used to be a man and you say to yourself, well, why the hell did you need to tell that? The only reason you needed to tell that because that's your weapon or that's your, your, your way of taking her down two or three notches. But what they don't realize, her having a pussy don't make, I have to use the word pussy don't make you a woman. A pussy just make you female. My dog got pussy. Is she a woman? Pussy don't make you a woman. Being about your business is what makes you a woman. And a lot of these girls are about their business. They doing what they got to do. So we can't get... All right, so let me start this part off by saying this. Number one, uh, you don't have the body that you claim that the girls have. I'm just saying. I'm, I'm just saying. She said she got the body. Uh, it's giving Medea, number one. Number two, um, you're saying that people are going to say, oh, she used to be a boy to knock them down a peg. Why is that a knockdown? Why does that knock you down a peg if you go to the bathroom every day with a schlong? Somebody make it make sense. Why does that knock you down? First, first and foremost, personally, I have never been in a situation where I've seen a trans woman and a biological woman turn around and be like, oh, that used to be a boy because we don't care. It's kind of like we already know. Like there's an essence about a woman that you just don't have. Not saying that you can't look like a woman because the last girl just did. But I'm just saying there's an essence of womanhood in a woman that you can't have. Now, if you want to bring up the semantics of it all and be like, oh, well, you know, my dog, a womanhood and female is not the same because my dog has a vagina and he's and she's not a woman. Well, I mean, okay, let's play semantics. Okay, your dog isn't a woman. It's a female. But the problem is you guys are condensing the word female and the word woman into one and making it seem like it's the same and it's not. See, we're not going to play this game. That's what we're not going to do. We are not going to make it seem like we the ones tripping and y'all the ones that are just like sane in this whole situation and this operation. See, what's happening is they are condensing the word female and woman and conflating them and making them look like they're the same, right? Therefore, erasing woman or female. Meaning when you go down there to the doggone schoolhouse or uh, and th these are the things they're teaching the children. But when you go down to the schoolhouse or you go somewhere where this type of ideology is prevalent, you're not going to be able to be distant or distinct from them. You're going to be them because they're going to say womanhood and female are the same. You ever heard them say gender is a social construct? You know what I mean? Y'all ever heard that even though gender is biology? I've, it's, but then again, they girl, look, they doing the biology books, girl. Did y'all know that? Did you guys know that in the biology books, they are teaching about all of these things to your children in elementary school? Let's take a look. Now, I will be doing a separate video on this and uh, some other things, but I just wanted to add this little piece into this for my argument's sake. So this is a piece of an article from the Washington Post. Again, I will do a separate video about this, but they're talking about the education of uh, gender affirmer, affirmation or gender identity in schools. And remember, these, is, these are in the ages of elementary, middle school and high school and even college. You know what I mean? But they're talking about what they're teaching children as far as anatomy and gender. And this little piece was interesting it says there's talking about a professor it says he talks to a student about anatomy but declines to classify various body parts as male or female we don't say a penis belongs to a man he said it belongs to a human he explains and he makes clear that even if a doctor proclaims at birth it's a boy that baby may not be a boy someone who was born a boy may not feel they are a boy Similar lessons are offered in older grades in his school, building in sophistication as children get older. You see that? So back to my argument, right? This is why semantics are important. When you sit up here and say, you know, I know I'm a female, you know, but womanhood is something different. It's not. And you have to separate the two, because if you don't, then you'll get what they're teaching, what our they're teaching our children in school. I'm sorry, which is that there is no such thing as a female or a male. There can be intersexuality and a whole bunch of other stuff that really doesn't exist in real life. Right. So that's what I'm saying. It's the gaslighting for me. It's the gaslighting. You're in pursuit of something that you don't have not us i don't i've never seen a woman say hey i wish that i had a, a girl top and a boy bottom i've never heard it or or a trans 
to a trans woman. Like, I've never heard that in my life. But the way they're teaching our kids in school, they'll be saying that soon. But that's not the hint of that. That's a whole nother video. I'm saying this to say, don't be gaslit. Don't be gaslit. You got to have these conversations like these white conservatives be having with them. They be killing them, girl. They be shutting it down. And again, by no means am I trying to, like quiet somebody's voice or tell them they can't have an opinion on stuff but when your opinion affects my reality that's when it goes left and as black women like I said we need to focus on us and let these people have it and you know let them just go over there and we be over here doing our own thing you know what I'm saying because at this point and it's listen if you got good LGBTQ plus members in your family or friends or in your close settings that are good to you be good to them because it's not everybody and I don't want to paint a broad stroke over a few you know <laughs> I was about to say a few good men, Lord have mercy. Listen, I don't want to paint a broad stroke over a few, you know, bad apples in a bunch because that's not fair. But what I do want to say is as black women, we have to protect our womanhood. We do. We have to protect our womanhood. It is sacred. That's all we literally have at this moment. And it is imperative that we protect that. Amongst that, our children as well. But it is very imperative that we protect that. I mean, there's nothing else to really say. Nevertheless, y'all, I'm going to leave y'all with this uh these final words from this person i don't know who these people are but i just found the video clip and i thought it was really really important for everybody to hear i'm looking forward to everybody to jump down in the discussion and let me know what y'all think and again this is not a bashing session this is just a truth and reality session y'all let me know drop down in the comments please don't forget to like subscribe hit the notification bell follow me on tiktok and i'll see y'all hoes later bye a huge presence on social media, YouTube. You've got more than a million subscribers on YouTube alone. You are trans, as you mentioned. Uh, in your mind, are trans women women? No, I believe trans women are trans women. I think that that's a very specific state of being. Um, I certainly, you know, now being more than a decade into my transition, I can recognize certain parallels in my experience with women because it's not as if I'm just completely foreign to, you know, the way they live and the way they're treated through society because I've transitioned and I'm recognized as a woman by people who don't know me in public. However, there is a long list of things I'll never experience. And I actually find it quite insulting to both trans people and women um, that there is this sort of like, you know, nuance less uh, take out there that trans women are women. I think that it strips both parties of their ability to have real honest conversations. Mr. Carroll, how you give the voodoo doll time to talk? I don't get no fucking time to talk. Who the voodoo doll is? The nigga you just had up here.